So, you see with the directions, and in the end he cleared his throat. I don't know if you heard the throat clearing. The throat clearing is a substitution for the cough. And they're doing it at a low voice. Low tone. It used to be high. I used to walk in the bus, guys. Half the people are coughing. The other half are clearing their throats loud. I come out of there. I feel like I'm just, you know, got a cold or just drained. Coughing is brutal to hear that all day long. And it's one day, two days, one week. If your partner's sick or they have a cold, that's fine. But when you have that implemented on you in every single setting you enter and at your house by your own fake schizophrenic mother, it ain't fun, guys. <laughs> all right? So I'm talking brutally honest here. And saying these things about my, you know, so-called fake mother, even when I say that, I don't feel good when I say it. Because I'm not the kind of, I'm a loyal guy, and when I say that, it hurts. But you guys know what she did to me. She was a part of this plan. They were the main reason why I was trapped in this. Because if I was an orphan and being let go alone from youth, I wouldn't have gotten to the point where just to go and do an eye surgery without questioning it, I wouldn't have got chipped. So they were the vessel that shielded me all these years. It was a trap, a, the parent trap. Shielded me and kept me young and innocent and dumb until I got to the other vessel, which was the microchip. And that's when the huge attack became, it began on me in 97. That's why I got severely depressed because then they could afford it. I wouldn't run somewhere else. I couldn't. That's it, I'm chipped. Wherever I go, they set it up. So... What was I saying? Yeah, and the way they give you directions, they're not sure of themselves. Yeah, that will take you to that main street. They don't even know the names of the roads well. They just know one name or two names. Because now, not like before, they prepped them into it. Because I've walked to some stores before, and I've asked the girls that work in there, what's your manager's name? Or what's the store next to you called? They don't know. <laughs> That's how I started to find out about flipping people. I knew it from before, but that's how I proved it to myself and to you guys on camera that they flip people. Obviously, because you wouldn't encounter everybody on your trail to be a prick and applying a fucking ritual on you. So, look, look at the houses. There's no human beings in them, just cars parked in front. You don't hear a sound coming out of there or lights on, nothing. Nothing, guys. Sorry, I forgot. I was going to film every single one for you. It's 9 o'clock in the morning. It's 9.30. 9.25. Where are the human beings that live here? They get them out of here. How? I really don't know. They must talk to them ahead of time. And it took me about two hours to get here. So they had had enough time to get their crew up here and to get the people out of here. So first, the people who do the necessary work get the people out of here. The stuff, I guarantee you, they did it today. And, because I'm going to Major Street, they always like to put stuff like this for me on the road to distract me and make it ugly. You see how my, around my house is. Now, you know what I mean? There's a crew that gets here really fast, that's ready, has contacts with the people here to get them out. By the time they're out, this crew comes in, takes over. They're told exactly what house to go to. They have a pair of keys or whatever, or the doors open. I don't know. And then I come here after the setting is set up. They're all taking their positions to apply the ritual on me, whether it's on a grand scale, the whole town or inside a coffee shop. Same thing, same elements, you know, but outside the implementation of cars is not existent inside the coffee shop, obviously. That's it. So there are a bunch of rituals. I got this bug bugging me all over my hair about going back and forth. That's it, guys. That's how this works. This ritualistic nightmare that I've been a part of for a long time. You know? So, I've had the the good dogs on leashes worldwide freemasonic entity on me to try to take me down with the gang stalking and everything and didn't work so they toned it down they had no choice because i was proving on video everything they were doing to me you know they wouldn't went down so they had to hide it 
the fuck is going on here, man? How do we get to the frigging... Let's see where it is. That's the main... Hi, do you guys know how I can get to the... Uh, there's a taxi company here on the main road, I was told. Do you know where it is? The train station? Train station? <laughs> yeah, train station. Uh, you're quite a ways away. You go to that street there, follow it straight up to the park. It's on the left-hand side, the train station. Appreciate yeah, I just go to there, soon drive, follow that up. Half a kilometer, it's on the left-hand side. The other side of the rail tracks. Thanks, guys. Have a nice day. So... It's always the hypiness and the extra words and not that they couldn't be done naturally, that some people are like that naturally. They are, very few, but you get it more with me. So when I describe to you the tactics and the elements they use in this ritual that will eventually get to you in the end, <clears throat> they're the same. Look, look, watering the thing, the thing. With the see that she's watering the, the grass or the tree. It's Truman Showish. And cars in the driveways, cars in the driveways. So it's very Truman Showish. That's the guy we saw when he first came in here, I think. You know, today's Monday. It's 9.30. Where are the people in this? Ah, fuck, I think something went inside my back. Like an insect. These guys have their insects all over me always. So, it's Truman Showish. That's how you can tell you're in a fake environment. It's a torture bin. It's a ritual being done on you to harvest your energy or to make you waste it and for them to beat on you so you don't get anywhere. You know, in a covert way that you couldn't read if you weren't awakened. So, look. There's no one in there, it's closed. It's 9.30 for God's sakes. So, let's see what's going on here. They come up here with papers. Please enter the main entrance with those papers. Those papers pure their style, look, they just stuck them there. You know how they do that, all the buildings I go into, all the offices. So they get everybody out of the area, every single human being, because then if there's one in here, even if they don't see what's going on, they'll feel the energy that something negative is happening. It's a very negative energy. They put this on there, video surveillance and news on these premises. So they carry those papers with them. They stick them to prep the setting. To put spots in your face everywhere. It's like objects, but in paper, in your view. And to threaten you. It's psychological warfare. It's telling you, watch out. It's telling you, be careful. Beware. You know? So it's creating worry. It's an element of worry. It's not much, but believe it or not, subconsciously, your brain does record that, even though you don't feel it right away. And it's bits and pieces piled up on top of each other. They end up making a huge mountain. That's how this works. So they prep the setting. Even these sticks, I guarantee you, they weren't here. They have to make it ugly somehow, things sticking out in it. They can't throw garbage anymore because I've exposed it too much. So they have to stick something in there of bright colors or whatever. Leave the garage doors open with bicycles showing up. So that's how they set it up. So in this small town, about before I left to come here two hours ago, there were completely different people here. Completely different kind of people that they were evacuated for this ritualistic crew, see he's cutting the grass. What did I tell you? Men cut the grass. There's no grass to cut. Look how sh Sorry guys, there wasn't enough space. So it's Truman Showish. The guy with the lawnmower over there. I don't know if you got it. He was trying to cut the grass over there. There was no grass to cut. But you gotta make noise. I don't think you got that. I'm gonna go back to show you the guy trying to cut the grass with a lawnmower. Look how short the grass is. There's nothing to cut. Just to show you how fake and artificial these actions in this environment is. Look, look at him trying to cut down here now. He was up there earlier, but the video stopped. That's the guy I asked for directions earlier. So, they have to set it up because these insects around here will not move like that in these animals. You know, and they're not going to bring them with them and unleash them and, you know, and then recollect them and take them somewhere else to move with their crew. 
maybe that's what they do. I don't know. It's crazy. It's mind-boggling, this operation that includes technology with it, ritualistic technology, you know? It's mind-boggling. So, and to even begin to grasp the fact of what's happening to you and what they're doing to you. Most people go crazy. They couldn't absorb this information and stay sane because it's insane what's being done. They have the right, they have a right to feel that way or even do that or let this affect them that way. Not everybody can handle this. This awakening to this fake artificial world you've been putting because of your microchip. You know, more bicycles. It's not just bicycles. It's the kind of bicycles and the way they're set out. Oh. Oh, great. I appreciate it. Thanks. So, guys, sorry I shut the phone. I had to put it in my pocket. The guy gave me a ride here. The old man over there that sort of gave me good directions. And uh, part of giving me a ride is to sort of distract me from filming more and exposing this more and a part of it to make themselves look good that they are nice people you know what I mean now but what they're doing is they're using that sugar coating to cover a ritual being done on a victim who has never done anything wrong towards anybody has never committed a crime has a legally clean record and they know that so, but we still have to look at them as human beings because they're just vessels, guys. You know, they could be used for good or bad. Depends on their circumstances and mostly their circumstances, you know, and their traditions. So, because most of these people, it comes from father to father to son. That's how this works. So a lot of kids are in it. Not because they seeked it, because it was around them and they accepted it. Not to say that most of them don't like it. Um, hi, uh, do you know anything about the bus schedule here? Or? Yeah, there's one that's going to Toronto right uh, at uh, 9.45. Which is it's pretty soon, we're flying in about 5 10 minutes. Yeah. So what is this, Greyhound? Or? No, it's Northland. Northland, okay. Um, there is no Greyhound then. Yeah. Yeah. That's back in the days. Yeah, I've been in so the, it's uh, Northland. So it's, for a while. Yeah, and unfortunately the ticket office and the thing is closed, so you have bus to get driver. on. Yeah, well, you don't get a bus driver, he, he stops. And, so, yeah. And uh, anything about the pricing or anything like that? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty much the cheap. One way, it's about $45. From here to Toronto? Wow, that's cheap. Well, yeah, it's a bus. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's, let's say good. Sorry. Good, that's good. At least I'm, I had to pay, I don't know how much for Uber to get out there earlier, but okay. I'm enjoying this down, so hopefully I'll see it when the next one comes. Maybe another. Well, uh, no, I think it was full. The, the one that's at, uh, because it's a long weekend, right? Yeah, it's like Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I went online. You can go online. You mean the one that was sold? This one? No, no, it's this full, one. Or the one before? No, the one after, after. at 2 at, at 2.45. Oh. There was only one seat left, so you, if you so want to try. If you so know. might as well, yeah. Why don't I go online and see if I can purchase one and yeah, see. Is it up here, the thought. information? No. Uh, if
So as you guys noticed, um, the phone shut off a bit. I talked to this lady. She threw something in the garbage after she saw me. The dog over there is barking. You saw an electric wheelchair, bikes on the back of the car, um, another dog on a leash, and the police siren in the background. Those are the elements used in the ritual. They attack certain kind of senses in you, whether it's by hearing or by seeing, to deplete you of your energy. There are the elements used in every ritual in every single environment that I walk into. Watch all my videos. The birds making noise that comes after when there's no people or cars to make noise. Sometimes all three are put together as a combination. Depends on the one who's programming the intensity of your program that day, how intense he wants it to be, through your microchip. That's how this works. So we're being farmed. And we're not realizing it. Most of us end the running. You guys know all about that. So I'm stopping here at this bus station in the small town to go back to Toronto. And in five minutes, I experienced all these elements. So right here in my me stopping here, I got ritualized with all the elements. Wait till I go inside the bus. And I heard kids over there screaming and calling their mom and their mom screaming at them. So what happened so far in the last year when I woke up, the intensity of the elements in the ritual went high, up, 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 and kept on going up to the point of just explosion. It was brutal. That's when I had the best videos. Unfortunately, they're gone. And then they started toning it down because it didn't work. It didn't really make me commit suicide or do something crazy, which is what it's meant to do. Because you're getting squeezed by a snake. It's a choke. That's the ritual. That's how it's done. Without even touching you physically. So, guys... Look how beautiful this is. Let me show you beauty when I'm talking. Look at the lake down there. Look how beautiful that is. It's just amazing. I wish I could stay up here for longer. So what did they do to me? The bus has three times today leaving this place. 8.45, 2.45, and then 8.45 p.m. Sorry, 9.45, which is around now almost. So look at the dog sticking his head out of the car. So it's a crew, guys. It's a crew that has all these elements with them that they come in, take the place of the people in the small town, and ritualize you while you're there and you think if you're not awakened that this is the way it is it's not the real people are gone especially me because i was born into this shit so for me to find out that there is something else out there i had to be awakened take the tubes out of me like neo did in the matrix when he took the red pill that's what awakening is so guys um If I buy a ticket for nighttime, I'd have to spend all day here, eat here, and it's not a bad idea, but I'll get tired and drained. It would be nice to spend it here. I have to recharge my phone so I can make you more videos. And, you know, the slamming of the doors, everything, you know all about it. The hugging the girlfriend, the holding hands. They do this to single people. The men and women, the holding hands. For men to, cra for men to crave something that they don't... Uh, temporarily or right now have or for women to do that too when they have you on the choke because you can't get it you're being choked you're being surrounded with them how are you gonna get it who are you gonna meet they're not allowing you to meet real people that's the reason why they put the gfe experience in front of you So even the bus terminal here is a charade. All these people came to do this ritual. The nice looking women are a part of it, you know, the sex symbolism, um, everything. The whole ritualistic sort of uh, thing that they're doing, the bus driver, the people in the bus, everything, everything. It's a ritual. You gotta understand that they're not acting normal, these people. They're moving too much every time you look at them. They're making noise. And part of it, because they're microchipped with a receiver of your transmitter microchip. That's why they move too much when you look at them. That's how they know you're looking at them. It's what's the instinctive. It becomes instinctive. I think something vibrates in them. That's how they do it. So it's the ritual itself it has certain elements in it and you'll see it being repeated in every single setting i walk into whether it's a hospital emergency room a courthouse a convenience store a bus stop i was just walking down the street in the elevator there are just a series of small 
soft core rituals being repeated over and over again to drain you of your energy, harvest it, and to keep you down, to keep you beaten up in a covert sort of between brackets, civilized way, between quotation, you know, without touching you physically. It's brutal. It's just freaking the most evil thing I've ever heard of, encountered, and experienced, you know? Uh, do you mind if I ask you something? Um, okay, so uh, there's another one at 2.45, is it or Can I, is it only helping online? Because it's not giving me the option for it to do something. Uh, it's not giving you the option, it's just stay cool. cool. Is this guy cool? This is cool. So I gotta wait for that time. Let me book it quick. Even those bad guys. Alright. Sorry, man. That's alright. Take care.